Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dangerous Games Podcast. I am your host, Courtney, with Reckless Cards, and my beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, spectacular, light of everyone's life I don't know about co-host, that. Sarah, the original Mrs. Breaker, Mrs. Squirt's Cards. How are you doing today? I am good. It's been a long, long time few weeks for it us and i hear here for you too so i'm just i'm glad we're getting back on it i'm really excited for october i think we're going to be dropping some really cool episodes that uh, people probably don't expect us to drop so i'm, yeah. I'm excited this will be fun we do a lot of like um you know obviously true crime and i we talked about it and we're gonna do the first one right now is since it's halloween and instead of doing, you know, another true crime case for Halloween, we're going to do some spooky stuff. So, but it's um, for the whole month of October, though, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for all of October, wow. we're going to drop some spooky, creepy, creepy stuff. And Sarah's going to kick it off for us. So what are, what are we doing today, Sarah? So, you know, I, I think when we had talked about doing this, we talked about doing like stadiums or... Um, baseball fields or some type of sports related haunts yeah. and um you know there's a there's actually quite a few and there's some of them that aren't as old as people think they are but they were built on some creepy ground yes so i know you've got some really good ones coming up next but Mine are old like you're we just talking about some of them are new i looked up some some the two that i picked out for my first two are both very old have a lot of history so. but they, they still have issues today though yeah so it's yeah. kind of like yeah the, mine the first one i'm doing actually the the building itself wasn't even built till 1996 yeah it's new so, i mean it's pretty freaking new when you think about stadiums nowadays that's crazy but so this week i am doing maybe you might have heard, heard of this the rochester's frontier field Okay, let's in go. In Rochester, New York. So, home to the Rochester Red Wings since 1997, not as old as some other buildings that are haunted, has been the talk around town as having been haunted and is still haunted. In 2004, a Rochester paranormal group walked the stadium and found that the presence of an unknown entity may be lurking in the dark. Or is it no? Is it is it a ghost or does people know who exactly it is? Frontier Field boasts a whole different king of bleacher creatures since its opening in 1996. The field itself broke ground actually in 1994, but the first opening game wasn't until 1996 when a professional soccer team actually called it home. The soccer team was short-lived as the Red Wings, I can't, say that really fast obviously no wings you know what's funny is we i like i live near rochester michigan and obviously our hockey team in michigan everyone knows the the red wings for detroit so it's right like, but this is like i hate that red red wings red, red wings, wings. Red were, wings. we're just not gonna say it anymore uh <laughs> but so they they soon called the stadium home in 1997 okay and the first pitch was thrown on April 11th. So who's the ghost lurking in the stadium? Is it a soccer player? Is it somebody who died at the stadium? Is it somebody who's haunting a family member? Or is possibly the ground haunted? The coach of the minor, so it's a minor league team, once stated, yeah, I believe in spirits. The general manager, Dan Mason, would say, you know, once in a while, I'll see a light on in the suites, like maybe in the middle of winter when there's nobody there that that would be up there. Or there'll be a TV on in one of those suites. Odd things at odd times, but they're a little unnerving. So, who can it be? There's only ever been one stadium that is the world's first certified haunted sports arena 
and that is Frontier Field. No kidding. Isn't that crazy? It's really crazy when I think about this, the research that I've done that they're not certified. That's crazy. right. So I don't know is that because like, they don't they haven't had like a crew come out like a paranormal crew and like yes this is what it is and blah you know gone through the history of it. I mean, we definitely confirm that there's something creepy happening. <laughs> right. There are a few stories as to why spirits have decided to infiltrate a thirteen thousand five hundred seat minor league ballpark in upstate New York. Rumors are that bones were found when land was being dug out to build the stadium back in 1996. That's not cool, bro. Maybe human, maybe not. They don't Mason, even know if they were human. They just they're like, oh, these are some bones, and then they didn't like do any like research. Anymore. Right. Right. <laughs> it, well, it's like I when I was looking at these arenas and everything, the Dodger Stadium, they like totally moved like a Jewish cemetery to put the stadium in, and I'm like, oh no. We don't, we don't, we don't touch those this types. Bad. We don't do that. Why are you doing this? We don't do that. We don't cross those the lines. The ground is sour. Haven't <laughs> they ever watched, like, <laughs> haven't they ever watched Pet Cemetery? You just, you don't you mess with don't them. touch. You don't do it. You don't cross over the graves. No. You don't mess with the you graves. Them up. You don't touch any, them. Any, any kind of grave, any religion, any culture. If they're it don't matter. Grave, it's a burial ground. It could be a camel. For leave all I care alone. about, you don't touch it. Just leave it alone. You just leave it. You just let it be. It's pretty where it's at. Mason, who's been with the team since 1990, isn't sure about the bone story, but he also isn't not sure. I don't, he said, I don't know if they found bones, but there were a bunch of buildings on the site where Frontier Field is currently located. One of them was an old warehouse and it actually burned down. During the construction, which is kind of creepy, it was actually going to be part of the ballpark. They found some old books, some shoes. I think they dated it back to the early 1900s. Holy. I mean, how cool so is that? That is historic, even if the building itself isn't. Right. And a lot of times buildings aren't haunted because of what was in it. It could have been haunted because of what it was put on top of you know like oh, yeah or like even like you know you bring in a creepy desk and all of a sudden boom you got a spirit that is why i do not buy things no antiques for sarah no no antiques i don't need a chimney or fireplace thank you bad juju. My, mom, my mom one time gave me these old like it was like old owls that belonged to my grandma and i had them in my house they were like the i don't know tchotchke things i had them in my house for like a week and i like made it my I made Jeremy take them out and put them in the garage and then I made my mom come back to my house and get them and take them because I didn't want them because they were nope. creeping me out so bad <laughs> nope I can't do it there's 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 a lot of things in life I can do and that is not one of them yep. that is not I I will not volunteer for anybody's stuff thank you no nope. no upcycling <laughs> mm -mm. I, Trash can. I, don't, I don't want your bad energy on, uh, no. on this desk mm -mm. I've uh, no, mm -mm, nope. Um, he tells me the warehouse was once an old schoolhouse, and everybody knows that old schoolhouses from the early 1900s are almost always haunted. So haunted. But according to Mason, that doesn't seem to be where the main ghost of Frontier Fields hails from. Hmm. There, there was a paper company that was on the site as well. This is for Mason himself, again, um, as well, that they tore down to build Frontier Field. Apparently, they said that there was an old janitor that haunted the paper company and that his spirit didn't leave when they tore it down. And it still roams the halls here at Frontier Fields. Oh, man. He's just like, no, man, I'm not done cleaning. This place is a mess. And I'm gonna keep doing this. Could you or, imagine dying and then in death you're still being a janitor? Or maybe they're just going to free games. Maybe. Maybe he's like, no, oh, you know what? Better. I'm, I might I like just your take been... better. Your take is better. There's a little foreshadowing for me saying that. Don't believe Mason? Well, believe Rochester Paranormal Investigators, the ghost seeking society that visited Frontier Field in 2004 and officially stamped it as haunted. There was even an amazing sports center recreation special about it. 
So I'll have to watch that. A group of paranormal investigators took the time to investigate a lead on the stadium being haunted. There have been countless accounts of people seeing something and feeling a certain way. So this group set out to confirm or deny those feelings. Well, it was proven that there was indeed something there. The group had stated that they had a few contacts with spirits in negative entities. Negative I that word. I hate entities. It, it it's, it's up there with moist. Um, just, the heaps. You're just like, ooh. I just, mm, no, entities. Ooh. Like, no, can we just. You're right with like the hyenas when you're like Mufasa. <laughs> Say it again. It's like, no, we'll just call them something. Just something. Don't. Something entities. There. Like something. Um. Mean. <laughs> but the group wasn't the only person that has had an experience with the unsettling spirit. Both director Jay Burkhart and psychic medium Lee, which were part of that group, said ghosts were flocking toward them once they got to the field. But some ghosts were different than others. A lot of them came to me and they were like, oh, don't you just love it here? It's such a great place. Have you seen the baseball yet? We get to watch all our games for free. Aww. Lee says in the in in an interview with the um, paper at that time that that was his experience. But the other side of it, Mr. Burkhart found himself being confronted by two to three very hostile entities. They were very belligerent. They were very challenging. They were very threatening. Oh, no. See, that would be me. If there's two, if you and I went somewhere, I would be getting those ones. Okay? You'd be getting the mean ones, and I'd be like, what's that? We're chilling with the ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How much can we screw with Squirt? That's exactly what will happen. No, thank you. Burkhart took some photos of the spirits he encountered, and the first is a floating head. While the second is some floating entities. Oh my gosh, you did you see the look, pictures of them? But, yeah, I did. When I looked oh, we're at gonna them, share these on Instagram, guys. You can't really tell what they are, but they're like but they're like if you're you know to a ghost detective, special yell, you can tell that there's something. And I'm just like Is this like the magic eyes from like the nineties where you have to like squint and then cross your eyes to be able to see it? And tilt your head to the left because tilt apparently your left, squint, cross yeah. your eyes. And then you can see the ghost. It's like I'm taking a poo. But <laughs> yeah. So like <laughs> when I was looking at it, I was like, it looks like just a, like light bulbs. But okay, so we'll share them on Instagram. And you guys let us know what you think if yes, you think that totally. they look like ghosts. Because I'm curious now. You have to go look at them because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm literally just that. like I don't see it. But I'm not gonna say I'm not a believer. What about stories from the people who work there on a regular basis? Clubhouse manager Kevin Johnston took the book Feel the Screams, which I'm going to have to read now, that he's heard noises going up and down on the stadium freight elevator. He was so scared once late at night that he walked around the hallways with a baseball bat. What are you going to do with the baseball bat? Yeah, it's ghosts. It'll go right through them. Well, if he doesn't know it's a ghost, and like that's how prominent those noises were. Oh, it sounds like there's like, people like. What are you gonna do? Kill a raccoon? Like, what are you gonna do? I don't want to be anywhere creepy at nighttime, man. I just I'm not here for it. I have to do that at, for my work now. Is like, mm -hmm. I sit in like like creepy places overnight, and it is not my favorite. I wouldn't sleep. You can't. Well, that's good because I wouldn't. I mean, I guess I'd be, be really sleep. good at this job then because you can't sleep. And it I is I would literally just be sitting there like I'm like this all night. Like, what was that noise? What was that? I got my flashlight. I'm like, I know my eyeballs. Like, I would have to tape them because as soon as the sun hit, man, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a morning. I can sleep. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Good night. <laughs> the, and so, another situation there was um, a head groundskeeper. Uh, it's always the groundskeepers, like, dude. It's always. always the groundskeepers. Always, especially in Scooby Doo. Yeah. Um, he was a ghost skeptic. He did not believe one bit. Well, that's the ones that they're going to pick on the most. Like, let's get real. Ghosts are like cats. They're like, oh, you're not interested in me. Now you're going to be. You say no. Okay, I'll say how far. Here's, here's yep. what's going to happen. We're and so he once sprinted out of his office after seeing a dark shadow 
in hearing loud sounds coming from a storage room. He never leaves the stadium by himself to this day. No kidding. Wow. I'm like, okay, so you got the dark entity. That's me. So that's cool. <laughs> you and groundskeeper Willie, you're on the same team. <laughs> We're not, though. I don't want to be on that team. That's not a team I want to be on. No tag teaming. No. Uh, but it gets kind of creepier. So it's been known that thousands, between the months of January and February, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of crows will appear at the stadium. It's a murder. And they're like, and if you know anything about a crow... That is a well-known omen of death. And so Mason had made a comment that they're, they're, they are here every day and every night. There's literally thousands of them. So like when I leave every night to walk to my car, it's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Ugh, no the birds. <laughs> no I hate you. the birds. No. I despise the birds okay and there are thousands of crows in our parking lot and in the trees surrounding the, the ballpark and all you hear is crows for like those two full months that's all you hear that sounds like a literal nightmare um yes so this ballpark is somewhere on my bucket list <clears throat> i'm thinking that I mean, if you go, I'm going. Well, duh. <laughs> duh. We have like, to I, don't even know, I don't even know why that's even a question. I, it wasn't um, a question. I was stating a fact. <laughs> okay. Because if I'm going to crap my pants, you're going to crap yours too. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Right. I mean. We are not going between January and February. I am not going to be in the circle of death known as the crows. But I think that this one... I think there's so much more here. There's not a whole lot of... Those are the only kind of stories I was able to find on it. But to have it certified as haunted, like, you know it has to be good. And it's not like... They don't believe if somebody was murdered there. So that's... I mean, that's cool. You know, it's not some, like, hostile ex or something. Right. But if it really was Bones when they were digging, breaking ground... That would take it back to either, if that building that burned. If that was somebody was in there and they died, then that would make sense. Right. But if there was a schoolyard, so there was a schoolyard at one time. Right. What happened there? Yeah, like, I need more details. We have definitely have haunted ghost kids. We definitely have the creepy groundskeeper janitor ghost who wants yep. to like, watch all the games. You have the 1900s fire building. There, you know, there's the bones the mysterious bones that nobody looked into. They, uh, what'd, you, what'd you do with them? Why? Did you just throw them away? They're like, oh, bones, bye. I mean, if dog. you throw them away, like, there's, they're, yeah, angry. I always say the 90s was a wild time to be alive. People just did whatever. They did, they just did whatever. But it, that was in 1994 when they were breaking ground on, I mean, that's not that long ago. Like, I would hope by then that we learn rituals of like, hey, you know, Let's call the popos. Let's get these checked. Not when, not when you're trying to like, you know, develop your land, man. Money over everything. Sometimes these people they don't care. Oh, but you see, now they do. Yeah. Well, well now that know. they have a haunted stadium. I mean, they're making money on that end now too. So, but I just when I read that, like, I was so intrigued because I listen. I want to kind of go when the crows are there. Are you stupid? No. You need sleep. Uh, maybe, but I still kind of want to go when the crows are there. I want to go when it's creepy. If we're gonna go and it's, gonna I know, cold, we're gonna do I know. It when it's creepy. I know that. I mean, January, February, it's gonna be cold and snowy. So I mean, that's nothing new for me. Me I live in, me, Michigan. Live in the mountains. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hear the crows there in the winter. You'd think that they'd be like gone. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm in. Why? Listen, I'm in. I want to go. I want to go. Okay, so. Should we call them and like yeah. ask them when the creepiest time? Like, do they know what week of the month? Like, listen, we want to come when is the creepiest. And then Whatever we need a tour. Is, yeah, and we want to do a tour and we want to yeah. come. Maybe yeah. we can interview someone that works there for the podcast. Maybe the guy that got scared. He, yeah, maybe we could do like favorite. maybe we could get like media passes and get you go and actually like do some cool stuff. I don't maybe know if we need to get all that because like it's not open. 
baseball is not open at that time, so we should be able to just go. Maybe we could rip some packs in the haunted stadium. What ghost packs? I don't know. There has to be. I bet there's ghost packs. I'm looking. I'm calling. I'm gonna call my friend. I bet we can get some weird packs to rip inside of a haunted stadium. That oh, would be so much fun. It would be. Um, I need to. I need to order some big girl panties though, because that. I will get you some depends. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, we went real we downhill. Your pants. <laughs> <laughs> we went real downhill. Shoot, son. Um, no, but seriously, like I would be so down. Like that would be so much fun to rip packs with ghosts and crows. Like that just sounds two ideal. the two stadiums that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I've actually been to both of them. I've been to one of them. So I'm very been excited. To the W. The W. The W. But yes, this that's is all cool. I, this is cool. I actually never heard of this stadium before, so I'm really excited. That was well, fun. wait till you hear about nationwide. Nationwide is not on not, our side. Not on your side. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So make sure you check out the pictures on Instagram. Yes. And let us know. Do you see the ghost? Did you have to do the crazy? It's just a head. Crazy, like eyes. Did you see the ghost? Let us know. Yes, please. Until next time, have a fun Halloween. And 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 the next haunted stadium that we're gonna do because we're gonna do this all month. It's gonna be fun. We're we're kind of taking a break. We did some heavy cases, and now we want to do some some more you know fun 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 stuff. A little little spooky, little spooky. You're say, but we'll be back. We'll be back to the true crime soon. So don't you know catch up on some old ones if this isn't your jam. And we will see you next time. Make good choices. Bye. Or don't. (laughs) <laughs> don't. <laughs> if you find bones, turn them into the police. Don't just throw them away. <laughs> Bye. Who, who does that? <laughs>